Hi everyone on YouTube. This is the completed Borau Sashiko inspired piece and you can see I have 27 mushrooms on this so it is a little busy. <laughs> but you can see the clusters of the mushrooms and um, I studied a little bit on the, the shapes and whatnot of uh, different mushrooms and I really, really liked um, this this shape, so I made those a little bit larger. Um, the stems vary on mushrooms. And I added, of course, some gnomes. You can see the gnomes. If you're not seeing them, here's one. And come over here in the bottom, there's another one right there. And there's another one. So this is an abstract, and this is their little home in the middle of the mushrooms. <laughs> this was a lot of fun making. So um, you can see that it's painted, and um, I painted very light strokes. Uh, you can see over on, on TikTok, um, my station at TikTok, this is acrylic paint, so it... Um, it dries very fast and it did with this piece too. So um, now the backing is um, one full piece. Um, it's like a fat quarter. So this is a nice tight, tightly woven cotton. And I did back to front. So here's the hem. Now I made the hem larger at the top here, just a little bit in width so the dowel can fit in. And um, so, you know, there's no real um, manipulation on the back. You can almost not even see the stitches. All I did was, um, as opposed to, now I could have made the hem the same size all the way around, but I felt it would have been um, closing in too much on the image, on the, the picture, on the artwork. So I just did it at the top like that and I've and I've done that a number of times I've done this type of backing so I really like it so um anyway I hope that inspires you and if you have any questions you let me know and I'm more than happy to answer and do more videos on that so have a beautiful day